Hey everybody, Dawn McGee, your wellness strategist and nutrition evangelist here. Today I'm talking about pivoting. Why is that? Well, pivoting has become a word in our everyday vocabulary, right? It just means to take a turn, make a change. Uh, it has come to symbolize something that you have to do because you, you had an unexpected situation. Um, and that's not really what I'm talking about here, but I'm talking about making changes. It's spring, it's a good time of year to make some changes, so um, whether you're thinking about making changes in your eating habits, uh, movement habits, recharge habits, or in your business, I'm here to talk about some ways to make a pivot successfully. And I'll share with you about a pivot that I'm making in my business as well. So for 12 years now, I have been working with groups and individuals to help them um, optimize their health and work on their eating, moving, and recharging, which I love doing. I love working with people and seeing them have that aha moment when they realize that they can have all the fun and the flavors that they love and also have their optimum health at the same time. Um, and now what I'm adding to my business is I'm working with health pros, uh, fitness professionals, health coaches, gym owners, so that I can help them break into the next stage of their business. They're ready to move into workplace wellness. And I've got 35 years of experience in the corporate world, 12 years of experience in nutrition, and so this is a wonderful marriage of all of my life experiences. And I'm so excited to be able to share this with people in my profession and bring my corporate experience um, forward on their behalf. So that's one example of a pivot, right? What, what are some other pivots that you might be doing this time of year? Well, you might be saying, you know, I have hibernated long enough this, this winter, whatever it was like in your neighborhood. Um, I kind of didn't take great care of myself. So maybe you're going to um, hit the produce aisle with an eye on early spring fruits and vegetables and you're going to add some more bright colors into your food, your routine, um, have a little bit more variety in your meals, try some new recipes, recommit yourself to PFC every three. So these are some of the things that you might be pivoting towards. Hopefully it's towards a healthier, happier you. Um, and as always, that's what I wish for you is to live a life you love without being hungry, feeling deprived, or giving up the things that bring you joy. So whether you are an individual or a professional in the health industry, I'd love to chat with you about what your next steps and your pivots look like. Until next week, ciao.